second and ten of the 25 for Braxton Miller, the quarterback of the Buckeyes. And he'll hand it off on first down. Carlos Hyde slashing through. Quarterback, not just an athlete running around back there. Second down and four of the 31. They'll swing it out. Here's Hyde. Catches it. Gets his shoulder squared. And for Ohio State. Empty backfield. Miller wasn't ready for the snap. He has it. And he looked for Hyde. Spot that we've ever seen in college football history. As Ohio State runs the ball again. Hey, they deserve it over Ohio State if they win tonight. Here's Carlos Hyde running. He'll stumble forward and pick up the first Second drive for Ohio State. Miller pulls it out. Sprints out of the pocket. Throws on the run. And he's got Philly Brown. Getting 10 now for the Buckeyes at their own 39. And Braxton Miller runs it. And Braxton Miller is dropped immediately. We still don't know how much longer Urban will keep him out of this game. All right, thank you very much, Aaron. First and 10 at the 35. Miller elects to run the football. He's got some running room, gets outside, picks up the first down and more. So Braxton Miller, less than five yards. But Miller picks up a nice chunk here. And he was close to breaking this even bigger. Look at him get to the outside here. And if this tackle isn't made right there, that's why Tom Herman was telling his team, don't press. Have patience. You won't get the same number of plays. Miller handing it off. Hyde. Backers with slot receivers or tight ends. Third down and seven at the 49. Ohio State 0 for 2 on conversions. Here's Braxton Miller under pressure. Lost it. To bring pressure. Watch the wave coming at him. Hyde picks up the outside guy, but Bullock comes inside of him and forces the play against Miller. See, he's unblocked. He pops the ball free. Then Ed Davis is there to help him. Miller fortunate to fall on the football. Hyde picked up one. Couldn't pick up two. 48 yards. Braxton Miller says, I guess I better do it myself. And watch the improvement of Braxton Miller. Last year it was one read and go. Now still directing, orchestrating, eyes downfield. Once he made up his mind, he directed Carlos Hyde to block. And then not kill. In other words, you don't want to miss Braxton Miller, but they didn't close down the back gate right here, and Braxton Miller finds it. And once he sees it, he takes it. Braxton Miller looking. Miller all day to throw it. Miller finally fires it toward the far side. Coverage was nice downfield for Michigan State. This is why Braxton Miller couldn't get rid of the football. And he's got to be careful throwing it late like this it has. But what Michigan State coupled with this coverage was pressure at the quarterback. Pat Narduzzi, the defensive coordinator, said, I'm just going to go and force the issue with Braxton Miller. And it worked. Third down, him. Miller handing it off to Hyde, and he'll pick up a first down. Now they go fast. The chains have to be set. The clock stops to get the, the ball here. You've got to have enough time to get to the line of scrimmage and spike it. They may do it in reverse by throwing it first and coming back to him running the ball inside. It's been difficult to find space against Michigan State's defense. And if they are. Michigan State jumping offside. Bulla, the middle linebacker. Like college football. It goes back to what we all learn, right? You never know what you've really missed until it's taken away from you. And all Locking the form. Hireman, 86, 78, Norwell. And look at them, and then he just finds the gap. State's defense off balance. Things have flipped. Go back to the report Aaron Andrews gave us, where Urban Meyer said we're going to open things up. He's done. So watch Braxton Miller. He looks for the strike downfield to Philly Brown, doesn't have it, and they give him a natural check down to Devin Smith. Now Miller running wide, turns the corner with a blocker. In. But look at what Hyde does. There's a big hit on the side from Tuan Jones, but he still finishes the run. It's a big man running the ball. You want to be a defender? Carlos Hyde rumbling. Isaiah Lewis up for the challenge. Does a nice job, but the big man is well downfield before the contact is made. I'm up for you, big boy. And I'm coming back out here to try and get the payoff. They have got it going, and that big offensive line has really taken charge of the line of scrimmage, something that does not happen against Michigan State, obviously. But they want to do it running it, because running it does more damage to the psyche of a defense than throwing it. Second down and two, Braxton Miller! 
someone. It's exactly what's happened with the big offensive line for Ohio State. And there's Elfline, number 65, who's gone almost the whole way. Decker, who was the new starter, and as you noted, it sailed. High running. This time, oh, look at the leg turn. People don't think is there. And now he goes off the field on a big third down. Against Michigan, two and a half sacks. Been a third down player. Watch him on the field here. Plays forced by Danico Allen, number 28, the outside line. But with the force, Shazier was bringing it 230 pounds and had leverage with that run. He packed the wall. Braxton Miller has been great with his legs. Empty set again. He's rushed for 128 yards. A little bit here. I'm talking about Michigan State. Because whenever they see empty set, their first move is Braxton Miller running the football. Draw or quarterback power run.